Hello friends, welcome to the Power System Experts YouTube channel. Our today's lecture on how to scale generation and load in PSSE. So for this, let's open PSSE. So in PSSE, let's open any case file first. So click on the sample save case file that is available in example section. So in order to access that scale generation to button here under power flow section go to changing and here you can scale generation load and shunt so click on this and select all buses first so here you can see that the case summary here so max the overall load of your system without losses here available in this 7891.6357 megawatt and total generation available in this is Basically, load plus losses is more than and or somehow it's equal. So, therefore, this is generation. And the shunt that is available in megawatt, that's 31.92 mag. And similarly, the reactor that is away, modeled in this case is 1300 megawatt. And also, the capacitors information that are available in this case, 4000 megawatt. And the reactor power components of your case, here you can see that the mean that this much reactive capacitors are added in the system but the load requirement like reactor power requirement from the system is 31.1 megawatt and also you have set this option to the constant load p by q I mean we will see that how to see basically fix this p q ratio so mean based on the power factor that you have added q so initially that is set on this value so here you can see that if in order to see the react like the generation summary and also the capacitor summary at different voltage level so for this you can select the subsystem file for example because mostly the capacitors are installed at 11 kV so under a base kV section so I need to see that how much capacitors are installed at 11 kV so I can select this 11 and minimum is 11 and press select by kv yes and then say apply when you this say okay and go so here you can see that the no capacitors under this area is added at the voltage level so it means that there is no avail uh, capacitor available at this voltage so similarly if you press no this option will be unchecked so under area section like if you select only central area and then press apply and okay and then go so you can see that the most generation like the 42.18 mega like 18.53 megawatt is available in this generation and also the capacitors installed in this area is only 450 megawatts and the requirements of reactive power in this area is this so from here you can see that you can change the power factor of particular this area as well directly from this here load power factor select this load power factor and you can change this to 0.9 and 0.95 so whatever the condition is so you can check here so initially if you are changing if you do if you are changing in the same base case that is already developed so it's recommended to check constant load p by q ratio so for example if i want to increase the load of my system or decrease the load of my system scale so I mean based on the if, like for example if you are making a case from one fiscal year to another fiscal year for like from here summer 2022 to summer 2023 so there is an increase in load so directly from if you have already added grid wise load so you can increase load from the directly scale your load from here like for example there is a 10 percent change in this existing load so for this purpose so just press add 10 percent and here you can see that this much generation is added in the system but make sure that the balance between the generation and load must be is nearly equal otherwise the case will be blown so therefore uh, mean you need to uh, basically on your generation or you can add another new generation to the system as well so need, for example so here i have just shown you as an example to show how to increase your load so there otherwise the same case is happening so just press close and then you can see uh, again so same load is back so next important thing when you increase load so this means this change is only applicable to the scalable buses so under the load buses so if you can go to load bus and select this and create graphic on display out 
So under this section, you can see that when you click on the load, so here you can this the this button is checked. So it means it's, it's scalable. So you can ch change the load of this bus. Otherwise, if if you are changing the load at some point and but this button is un unscalable, like it's unchecked, so you cannot the change will not applicable to all buses. So make sure that you are uh, you your this this button is scalable is checked. Otherwise, it will give you wrong results. So for example, if I select this bird and then make a subsystem for this bird particularly, so definitely then uh, sub making a sub uh, creating a subsystem that we will see in the next lecture. So in this lecture, so next important thing to discuss is that if you go to the power flow solution and uh, sorry the report changing and scale button, then so click go. So it means that this is only the load without loss. So far, uh, similarly, if you click on the, this here, you can 7891.63 megawatts. So under AOZ section, so when you click all buses and all to area, so here, this is only load and the losses. So every time you need to compare this summary with your scale button, make sure that this generation is equal to load plus loss. So based on this, uh, I mean mostly when you are scaling your generation or load in at from the scale button, make sure that losses are also so every time you need to add a, a less generation as compared to I mean if for example if there is a increase in 100 megawatt at least add for example to 80 megawatt to make sure that the losses are also a part of the system so therefore so every time if you are changing the load so the first thing is that the scalable button should be checked and similarly you make sure that the losses are within the limit as per the requirements so this is the basically end of uh, how to scale generation and load in any case. So in next lecture, we will see how to create different buses subsystem from with respect to area, owner and voltage level. Okay.